Welcome to day 12. It's vitamin time. Time to get some potassium in and my daily vitamin in. And then we're going to have some breakfast. There we go, homie. In case you're wondering what it is, it's chorizo. We got an egg, some egg whites, um, some tapatio con crema, and then some shredded cheese in there. Also got the coffee on deck with a little bit of cream in there too. So this is a high fat breakfast. So yeah, it's gonna be delicious and fulfilling. Let's get it in. So um, the plan is to have a ribeye steak for dinner. So let's see how that works out. A nice ribeye steak, maybe with some blue cheese, maybe some mushrooms, grilled mushrooms. But yeah, that's the plan. Lunch time, I think I'm gonna have nachos. That's just the way it's going. I see you looking here at my books. This is what I got on deck. That's my little reading library I got going on there. Um, so, you know, that's just, it is what it is, right? It's what you got to do to sharpen your mind and, and make your mind healthy. Um, I haven't, one, two, three, four, five, six, only one of those books am I reading. The other, I, the others I haven't read yet. Six of those are brand new. So I just got them over Christmas as a gift to myself. So if you guys have any of those books, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, just, uh. Wanted to let you guys know that we're going to have ribeye steak for dinner, and I'm looking forward to that shit. All right. Don't mind the mess in the background. It's just how I get down, all right? Honestly, though, I probably need to hydrate a little bit better, you know? Just a tad bit better. I drink a lot of water during the day, you know what I mean? I think the mo one of the most important times to drink water is in the morning. I don't know. If you guys agree with that or not, damn it. But, yeah, I think the morning is a good time to hydrate because we wake up and we feel hungry sometimes when really our body just hasn't had water all night or food. But, you know, sometimes just get that water in first. It's a good thing. Granted, I'm getting this water in after I ate and had some coffee, but... Either way, better late than never. Cheers. So I forgot to add some of this new salt to my food this morning. I, I probably can add some to my food later, but I did want to get a little bit into my coffee. That's probably an easy way to, to get it in. Just a little bit. And that's it. Mix it in and good to go. All right, for lunch, got Chili Lime Quest protein chips and a quesadilla uh, with made with two low carb tortillas. Yeah, buddy, it's Skittles time. I don't know what the fuck that was. Basically, this tastes like Skittles. It's called Purple Kittles. Pour this with some lean and you in the game, homie. All right, so we got the Skittles energy drink. I'm calling it that because, hold on, let me clear this up. Because it's it tastes like Skittles. I don't know what you guys want me to say. Like, it tastes like Skittles. It don't taste like America. I'm not sure what's going on in the background, but it tastes like Skittles, bro. So try this out, and let me give you a tip if you have a sweet tooth on keto. Give into it. Find something that's keto alternative and give into it. Eat some keto peanut butter cups. Or low carb, or I don't know, protein peanut butter cups. Look at one gram of sugar, bro. Come on. One gram of sugar, one gram net carb. I mean, you can't beat that. Get some fats in with that. It'll, you know, also kill that sweet tooth pretty quick. You know what I mean? So, this is seven grams of protein. You're going to get six grams of carbs. Take away a fiber. So, five carbs plus this. It's only six carbs you had right there. And, you know what I mean? Like, calories-wise, you're at about 400. But still, it's a good snack. It's just something I recommend. If you have a sweet tooth, you know, don't, if it's going to cause you by being deprived to overeat later on and maybe eat something you shouldn't, then just find you a keto alternative, a low carb, carb alternative, and just, just do that. Are you ever just in the snacky mood? Let's have another one. I'm feeling snacky, man. So sue me. At least I'm eating stuff that I need to eat. Oh well.
days like this happen. I'm going to eat this and pour some tapatio on it and be good to go. For the right price, homie, you can have this. Nah, snacking on some British cheddar cheese, coastal, and sipping some pink lemonade sugar-free. So today is kind of one of those weird days where I'm just extra hungry, bro. So I'm just going to call the rest of this night a... I don't necessarily want to call it a cheat night because I'm not going to eat anything that's um, not low carb, but, you know, I'm going to call it a relaxed or a free night, whatever, something like that, because I just had a salami quesadilla that I didn't record, and I don't want to continue to record uh, or have to log everything in my fitness pal, so um, I'm just going to call it, you know, a non, non-calorie day. I'm not going to worry about the calories. I'm just going to try to, you know what I mean? eat things that are low carb so days like that happen um i know i had another day like that not too long ago but i only went over by 300 so it wasn't too bad but hey it happens so it's gonna continue on and i'll show you guys what dinner's gonna be next sometimes you just need a fucking toke All right, desserts. These are those keto lemon bars from New Year's Eve. Not the same ones, but the same recipe. And some more keto pecan pie. Got some milk and cream right here to wash it down. <laughs> 